Joining us now, Congressman Ted Lieu of California, House impeachment manager during former President Trump's most recent Senate trial. Congressman, good to see you. Klein worked in the State Department until the day before Biden's inauguration. What does that tell you about how widespread and undetected extremism was under the Trump administration? Uh, thank you, Alicia, for that question. This is another data point that shows that the mob that attacked the Capitol on January 6th were Trump supporters, not people faking to be Trump supporters. Mm -hmm. They were actual Trump supporters who were enraged that Donald Trump had lost the election. And it is this rage that continues to fuel the political violence that we're trying to guard against. And I simply urge Republican leaders to say one simple, truthful sentence that the election was not stolen. I mean, it's absurd that you have to affirm that in the first place. But what does it tell you that this was a person who was working inside the U.S. State Department? Uh, so what's interesting is if you look at this mob, it wasn't just a particular set of people. It was people from all walks of life. You had people from the State Department. You had people who were lawyers, who were doctors, who were accountants, who were farmers, all sorts of people. They came because the president told them to. They attacked the Capitol because the president told them to. And they still continue to believe that Donald Trump unfairly lost the election. And we need to really get people to say that was just a big lie and to stop repeating it. Your colleague, Congressman Zoe Lofgren, posted a nearly 2,000-page report documenting posts from GOP lawmakers who voted against election certification on January 6th. The fact that a lawmaker felt compelled to document these posts speaks to the tension. It must inside the Capitol. How safe do you feel? I mean, this is the place where you do your work. How safe do you feel in and around the Capitol? Uh, that's a great question. So I have two responses. First, it's very clear that the former president was the ringleader who incited insurrection. But you also had a lot of people who continue to repeat the big lie, and those included Republican members of Congress. And if you look at their social media feeds, some of them continue to repeat the big lie even today. And some of them also want to carry guns, for example, onto the House floor. And for some of us, uh, it is quite disturbing. I do trust our Capitol Police to make sure that these Republican House members uh, don't act um, aggressively. But it is very disturbing to have to work in a place where people want to carry guns into the workplace and have issued threatening statements in the past. We're looking at a 60-day extension of the National Guard at the Capitol. Is seeing our nation's capital protected like a fortress, just the new normal? It shouldn't be. I previously served on active duty United States military because I believe we are an exceptional country. I never thought I'd see the day when our commander-in-chief would incite an insurrection. And now we're spending taxpayer funds to deploy our military to protect our capital against ourselves. This should not be what America is. And there is really one very simple way to fix this. You just have to have Republican elected officials tell the base the truth, that the election was not stolen and that Joe Biden won the election fair and square. Congressman, I want to pull up new reporting from the AP about how a patchwork of law enforcement agencies tried to stop the siege and how a lack of coordination and planning made that incredibly difficult. This piece of the article stood out to me, quote, two firefighters loaned to Washington for the day were the only medics on the Capitol steps January 7th, trying to triage injured officers as they watched the angry mob swell and attack police working to protect Congress. I apologize, that should have been January 6th. I is it your sense that these threats are ongoing? It is. We know from chatter uh, on sort of the dark web and public reporting that you continue to have people that, again, believe the big lie. They're angry and they want to attack the Capitol or they want to attack government officials. Uh, at the same time, prior to January 6th, I think too many people in the Trump administration, either intentionally or unintentionally, did not take white supremacy seriously, did not take these white national groups seriously. And now we have to take them very seriously. Congressman Ted Lieu, thank you for your time.